And we'll fast forward through quite a bit here just to try and catch up because they're in game two. Watch on four times. Uh, okay, so Hindustani's pulls. Now, Hindustani's is going to have the better units here because they will be able to make camels. Poles doesn't have halberdiers, so um, Hindustani's is going to be safe to just kind of go camels and gunpowder pretty much if they need it in the late game. So we'll probably be seeing, well, we still might be seeing like crossbowmen play from the Hindustanis in for the mid game. It's just like a pretty solid opening, but we'll see what Viper wants to do. Look at this map from Viper though, like so easy to wall. Just everything is so wallable for him. Now looking at Hera's map, everything's forward. Oh, holy moly, there's like nothing in the back. Wow, the Viper ma map hacks like it's so crazy. These, this map is so much better for Viper. Like, even the berries are kind of tucked in the side there. Hera's not going to be able to really do too much damage here. We're seeing the... Oh, wow. We lost a villager. Hera, Hera lost a vill there. He was maybe being a little bit greedy and uh, skipping loot. Uh, so, yeah. Losing a villager for it. And that's what happens. That That's a pretty jank wall. I don't know about that wall. That's, uh, that's a weird looking wall. I mean... I guess it still protects the full work, but uh, I don't know about that one. I feel like he still could have gotten it up if he just did normal walls. Maybe. Like he doesn't care about this wood line, which it, like it makes sense why he's walling like this. It's a little bit easier to defend, and he still has enough space for the full work. But uh, yeah, having a small wall. It does let, uh, make him susceptible to something like this, like the tower. And is Hera going to counter tower here? I'm not so sure. He's going Castle Age, but yeah, wow, late, late counter tower. Viper kind of just baiting with this, though. Viper's going to get it up, then Hera's going to get it up. Yeah, Hera would have rather not added this tower, though, because now he can't get a TC. Of course, Viper's on stone, so he's going to be able to get a TC. Little skirmish in the center of the map. Uh, one villager going down for Viper. We have the crossbowman timing from Hera. So, you know, you expect these civs not to go for crossbowman, but every civ goes crossbowman, pretty much. And, uh, yeah. Crossbowman timing being pretty strong, but Viper is also in Castle Age, so he's going to have the second TC. And... Just a little skirmish down here. Nothing of much consequence. Third TC for Viper. Second TC for Hera. Uh, Hera probably needs to get a third TC as well, but he needs the stone first, so he's going to mine a little bit of stone. And then probably get the third TC after. A little bit of a micro war here. Hera coming out in front. He's going to be able to idle all these villas. Probably. Oh, he actually gets one. That's pretty good. And he's going to get cleaned up now, though. We... Don't have ballistics for either player, so this this micro fight is going to be uh, intense. There we go. Uh, okay, so third TC down here from Hera, but he's pretty far behind. Fourth TC for Viper. Hindustani's with the cheaper villagers. They're able to boom effectively on four TCs, no problem. So Hindustani's going to be set up for the late game, but, you know, poles are poles, right? Poles can just make... Uh, they don't even need as many bills. They just have such a efficient economy. Elite Skirmisher. Ooh, Elite Skirmisher has pulls. Um, I guess Hera feels like he, he needs it, but does he? Would a Mangadon not have worked just as well? Elite Skirmisher is a lot more expensive, and like, Skirmisher is not really the unit that you want here against Hindustanis because Hindustanis doesn't even have Arb. So, like, what are you going to be? You're not setting yourself up for the late game very well by going skirmisher in this matchup i would think um ballistics coming in for hera but look like yeah see if you make skirmishers you make this hard tech switch to skirms viper's just gonna go for light cav and he's just gonna have a better unit comp um so we'll see i don't think it's gonna really end up working super well for hera hera being 20 bills behind um but on 4tc now as well so, Hera's not going to be behind for too much longer. And catching these these units out, all these units from Viper are going to die. It's a nice pick off. Uh, but we do see some Light Cav coming in. 
So, and these light cav, they only have plus one for now. Viper might wait a little bit until he gets plus two. It's a pretty expensive upgrade. He might get it here. Yeah, there we go. He's going to get it here. And Monk going to go down. This castle... It'll... Is it going to go up? It'll go up. It'll go up. Yeah, Viper can't deny it. Losing a few units here. Actually, the light cav... Lost quite a few light cav there to, uh, in the end there. Viper probably should have gone back a little bit. Nash lack of privileges coming in. So Hera looking to spam knights like there's no tomorrow. Um, Hindustanis, of course, have insane camels. So this is what I was saying. In the late game, Hindustanis, they have the better units. So we're kind of getting into the late game now where Hindustani camels are going to dominate. And yeah, like that we Hera knows that the camels are coming in but he's kind of forced to play knights at this stage he's gonna add in some obuk but unupgraded obuk still not gonna be that great um these camels attack faster from hindustani so they're actually quite a bit stronger just against regular units and uh yeah Hera not really not really having too much here going into the late game he's not gonna be imp anytime soon and, well, he's just going to spam knights and hope that the Castle Age knights is going to save him. Adding ranges now, too. So, <laughs> it looks like, well, Poles, they're only lacking the final armor on their arms. So, they actually have everything else. They have thumb ring and everything. So, you know, he, his plan is to go for knight, knight arb or knight crossbowman, which can be okay. The crossbowman can deal with camel, ar or camel riders pretty well. But, uh... Yeah, once once these imp upgrades are in, they're going to be a lot stronger. So, well, we'll see what we'll see what Hera can get done with this raid. Um, this raid should be able to do a little bit of damage, but Viper's on like 140 bills at this point. So, even if he kills like 20 bills, it's only equalizing the eco. So, it's not that big of a deal. This should be a good fight for Hera, though. I would think, because he Heavy Camel's not in. There we go. A bunch of Camel's falling. And these units will all get cleaned up now. And it looks like there was a little bit of a pause. But whatever. This is erect, so it doesn't really matter. Light Cap getting in, doing a little bit of annoying work in the back. And these are plus four Light Caps, so they, they just don't get cleaned up by the TCs. They just continue to wreck everything. Knight's running through. I mean, Hera has to do something. Viper quick walls, though. Uh, Hera just not being in the Imperial Age. He's just going to try and spam knights and, and hope that it works. And sometimes it can work. But at this stage, Viper kind of set him up. Or set himself up to, um, to have a counter to everything. There we go. And, yeah, the camels are just going to be kind of annoying. Viper, or Hera getting some good damage here, but at this point, Heavy Camel's so cost-effective against the Knights. Like, extremely cost-effective. So, yeah. Even though these Knights are super cheap, the Heavy Camels still do trade better against them. And, well, the, the population still isn't too bad for Hera, but he's getting trebbed in the center. Going for Thumb Ring now. So Hera's full committed on Castle Age. Like, if Hera loses this massive crossbow, I think he gives up because, uh, yeah, he, he can't afford to lose this mass. Um, dang, these camels are killing the, the crossbow and kind of, yeah, and, and Hera just knows it's over. Just couldn't quite get up. Added economy a little bit too late. Going for Skirmishers slowed him down. Not just going for a Mangonel. Uh, Manganel probably would have been better. The skirmishers ended up not really being that useful against Hindustanis in the late game. And yeah, Viper just able to close that game out. Uh, okay, let's find game two. I wonder if they're still playing it. They probably finished while we were... Oh no, I think game two is the graveyards. I believe. So I think they're still in game two. Yeah, that's great. Speed running, yeah. Well, we have to speed run a little bit to get to the get up to live. If we're gonna 